Hi there, my name's Vince from MyMateVince.com and in this video today I'm going to be showing you how to manually remove stuck discs from all these different devices here. Now I'm just going to be using very basic tools like screwdrivers that you probably already have at home and also a paper clip as well. Now you can't do this on every single device in the world but you will be surprised, even if it's not obvious, sometimes you can get them out just by studying around a device. You will often see a little hole or a lever or something like that which will get your stuck discs out. Now obviously, if your disc is stuck for a reason such as there's a mechanical problem or an electrical problem, this is not going to fix it. All this is going to show you how to do is how to remove the disc so then you can send your device in for repair or sell it or for example you might have borrowed a game off somebody and you need to give it back to them. So remember this isn't going to fix the problem, all this is doing is taking the disc out. Now hopefully by the time you watch this video, because I've done so many different ones here, you will have a really good idea of how to do it on your piece of equipment even if it's not listed here. So it's going to be quite a long video so I'm going to put a timestamp right now so you can go straight to the item that you want and also I will include a timestamp down in the description down below. Now remember if you are trying this at home no matter which one you're doing it on or even if the device is not listed here always unplug it from the power supply first so there's no power going into it. Now let's get started. I forgot to mention do the obvious things first like make sure there is actually a disc stuck in there that somebody else hasn't already taken that disc out and do a power cycle. So for example if it's the first time it's happened just shut the system down unplug it from the power supply for 30 seconds to a minute to let the power drain away from it, plug it back in, you might well find that that will fix the issue. But if it doesn't, now watch the rest of the video to see how to manually remove the discs. On this little portable drive here, it's really straightforward. If you look, there's a tiny little hole just here. So we're gonna get this paper clip and all we're gonna do is put it into that little hole and gently push it in and you can see now it's released the tray so we can take our disc out. Really simple. Just push in and it pops out. On the Xbox One X, if you have a look to the side of where you insert your discs, you will see that there's a tiny little hole here. That's the hole that we want to insert the paper clip into. Now, we put it through the first hole and then we need to locate it through a second hole and then once we push down on that, it will bring the disc out. So watch this now, if I put it through here, you can see it's only gone as far as that. So that's not, uh, that's not far enough. So now I'm gonna just wiggle it around until it goes through that other hole. There we go, it's gone through the other hole now and you can see it's suddenly gone much deeper. So now we're gonna apply a bit of pressure and you should see that the disc will come out. There we go. Now it doesn't really push it out that much, so you still have to kind of try to grab it your best with your uh, fingers. And there we go, you can now see that the disc is out and take the paper clip back out again. Okay, so if you have a look at this Toshiba laptop, if you go to the disc tray, you can see right next to the eject button that there is a tiny little hole. So we're gonna get the paper clip and we're gonna put it in here. Now with this one, it's very small and also this paper clip has like a plastic coating so it makes it thicker. So sometimes you really have to make sure it's dead straight to be able to get it in. But there you go, you can see how easy that came out. Look, just put it in, press, and then out it comes. Take the paper clip out, push it back in, and that's it. On the original Xbox, if you have a look by the disc tray, there's a tiny little hole just here. And that's where we want to insert the paper clip. Now with this one here, it can be quite hit and miss. Sometimes you'll get it first time. Sometimes it might take four or five goes before you get it. So don't just keep putting it in and in. And also if it goes in and it feels really hard, really, really hard, then don't just keep pushing it. Just pull it out, turn it a little bit, put it back in, turn it, pull it back in, and eventually you will get it correct. So there you go. Can you see I missed it there? It's gone in too far. So now I'm going to turn it around, put it in again, and I've missed again. So I'm just going to take the paper clip out, rearrange it a slight bit, try to straighten it up. There you go. And you can see I got it that time. Slide it out, take your disc out, just like that. So to get a stuck disc out of your PlayStation 4 Pro, we need to turn it upside down. And if you have a look, the circle on the top of the P 
that's the one we need to remove. So it's like a rubber foot, this one here on top of the P. So get your finger and just basically slide it out like that and you can see you kind of have to just pick it out. Now in here, there's a little protective plastic sheath that you're just going to have to break through with your screwdriver and then there will be a screw underneath it. So now this has never been done on this one so you'll probably hear what it's like. So you put your screwdriver and you can see it's only gone that far, yeah? But now listen, watch this. There you go, do you hear that? It's just breaking it through just that little bit more. There we go. And now I'm all the way in. So I can't go any more and I need to turn it counterclockwise and that will eject the disc from here. So if you watch this now, let me zoom out a bit. So I'm going counterclockwise this way around here. And you have to do it quite a few turns and you will see now the disc is coming out. If I was to go clockwise, you can see the disc is now moving back in. So let's give it a few spins and then when we can grab hold of it, just nice and gently pull your disc out, take your screwdriver back out and then we just need to put this little rubber circle back in again. So just line it up, make sure it's the right way around and push it back into place. And there we go. That is it. So on this particular model of the Xbox 360, it is possible to do, but it's quite annoying because you have to take off the front plate and then it's quite fiddly to get the paper clip in there. But let me show you how you do it. So you need to remove this front plate. I'm just going to use a knife because I find it slightly easier than using my fingers. There we go. Comes off like that. And now if you have a look, there is a hole here. But on this model, you don't use that hole because if you have a look, the metal is just like metal behind it, so it doesn't make a difference if you put it in there or not, it doesn't go to anywhere. But if you look closer, you see there's another two holes here. So what you have to do is, I have to use the one on the right hand side, and I have to put it in, and I physically have to move the gears around a little bit. Now, hopefully you will feel it give, but it might only give by like a couple of millimeters, but that will be enough just to release this bit here so you can pull the tray out with your fingers. So I'm putting it into this one here, and now I'm, there you go. I don't know if you heard it, but there was a little movement and it only moved in around about one or two millimeters, but that is enough now for me to grab hold of the tray and just slide it out. And you can see there's no force needed there. Okay, I'm just gonna show you that one more time because it is very annoying. Sometimes it can take quite a while to do it. So the right hand hole in, there you go, there you go. So uh, put it in, take it out and then to put this back on, you just line it up and you just push it back into place. There you go. On the Xbox 360 Slim model, if you have a look by the disc tray on the left hand side, there is actually a little yellow or orange sticker and that indicates where you need to put the paper clip in. So can you just see it there? So I'm just gonna zoom right in, show you the paper clip going into it and then I'll zoom out to show you the tray moving out. So if you have a look there now, you can see a little bit of the orange sticker just up top and there's a hole in it there. So I'm just gonna insert the paper clip in there like so. And now I'm in that hole. So let me zoom out and I'll show you what happens. So we just need to apply a little bit of force in here and you'll see that the tray will move out. There we go. And we can grab it and we can take our disc out, take the paper clip out and close the tray as normal. Now on the PlayStation 3, the original fat model, unfortunately there is no easy way of doing it. There's no levers, there's no holes or anything like that. So you can dismantle it completely to get the disc out. But there is a little workaround that sometimes works depending on what the fault is. So let's say if the fault is that your console's developed the flashing red light where it turns itself off within a second of turning it on. The problem there is you can't eject the disc because it's not turning on long enough for you to eject the disc. Well, what you can do in that instance is run the fan test and that will turn the console on long enough for you to eject the disc. So to do the fan test, you need to hold your finger on the eject button here. The console needs to be completely off. We're going to go to the switch at the back here, and we're going to turn this on when our finger is held here, and that will put the fan test on. So keep it held down here, and you will now hear that the fan is now whirring up. This is also good to clean out the dust from the inside as well. And there you go, you can see that the disc has come out. If it doesn't come out automatically, keep pressing this a few times and hopefully then it will come out before the fan test runs out. This, there you go, you can hear it going now. Yeah, so the fan test will normally go for around, I think it's about 20 to 30 seconds. So 
So there you go, nice little workaround that sometimes works to get the discount. On the Xbox One S, we want to go to the holes at the side of the disc drive here. And if you shine a torch in here, you will actually see that there is an orange little sticker. So let me zoom in to show you. Now, can you see just in this corner here, you can just make out little flashes of orange. Well, in the middle of that, there's a hole. In fact, you can see the hole just through that one there. Yeah. So what we want to do is, we want to put the paper clip in there. So if you have a look, can you see some of these holes are filled in and some are empty? Well, on the empty ones, if you go to the second diagonal one, you see this one here, and if you wiggle it around in here, that will lead you to the empty hole. There we go, so I'm in it now, like that, yeah? So now let's zoom out, and I'll show you the disc coming out. So we want to put pressure on it in here, and there you go, you can see now, that I've just got a tiny little bit of disc, only a little bit sticks out, that allows you then to pull it all the way out. Then remove your paper clip. Now to remove a stuck disc from a PlayStation 3 Slim, we need to turn it over and you will see that there's a little cover just here. So we need to pop this cover out either with a nail or possibly with a little knife or flathead screwdriver. And there you go, you can see you can pivot it round. Now, you've got a blue screw here, you're not touching that one. We actually want to pop this cover off completely. And underneath here, there is another screw, but it's not always visible because in here, let me zoom in to show you. If you have a look there, can you see it's like a kind of a, a cross here of plastic. So the first time you put your screwdriver in there, it will feel like it's broken through, for example, like a thin sheet of paper. So you put it in there, and now we want to turn it counter clockwise so we're going to be going around this way and then you will see that the disc will start to appear there we go okay and you can see if we were to do it clockwise the disc goes in yeah so counterclockwise to bring out and clockwise to bring in there we go so now we can remove the disc and then we can just put the cover back on by just clipping it back into place, like so. So on the original Xbox One, we need to go to the side by the disc drive here, and if you have a look in here, there is actually a slight little orange mark to indicate where the hole is. Can you just see it there on the uh, third or fourth, the fourth stat along? So let me zoom in and show you. We're talking about just here. So we're going to get a paper clip and we're going to insert it into that hole that's next to the orange mark, like so. Now I'm just going to zoom out because this is quite fiddly. You've then got to get it through a second hole. So at the moment that's just through the first hole, but you'll see when I wiggle it around it will then go further. So there we go. That was the first hole here and now I'm wiggling it around and can you see it's gone in much further. That is now hitting against the disc, so if we put quite a bit of pressure on it, there you go, can you see now? There's just enough room to get your fingers on there to pull it out manually. And then just take your paper clip out. To remove the stuck disc from the PlayStation 4, we need to first of all slide off this shiny bit on the left hand side. So get your hands on there and firmly bring it away to the left hand side. We then need to give it a little wiggle to get it off because sometimes it gets stuck around here. There we go, and you can see now that that is off. Now it does have a little screw that we need to undo using a crosshead screwdriver, and that is located on the left hand side. So let's bring it up to the camera to show you. So we're looking at this location here. And can you see deep down inside there, can you see the little crosshead screw? There. So that's where we need to put the screwdriver into. So let's pop that in there, and then I'll show you a close up with the screwdriver in. Yeah, you get the idea. It's in there now. Right, so we need to turn this counterclockwise, so we need to go around this way, and it would take quite a few revolutions before the disc will start to appear. So don't worry, and also when you're turning it, sometimes it's kind of like a bit on a spring. It's not a problem if you want to lean down a little bit to turn it, that's absolutely fine. So I'd say it's probably at least 20 turns before the disc starts to come out. And there we go, you can see it coming out now. And look, if I was to go clockwise, you can see it bringing the disc back in. Yeah, here we go. 
Right, so do it until you can get your fingers onto it, like now. And now I can gently slide it out, take the screwdriver back out, and then we can pop the cover back on like that and forcefully over to the right hand side. On your Philips Blu-ray player, if you have a look around the disc tray, you can see on this one that there is no hole, so it might make you think that you can't do it. But on this one, you can, because look underneath it, and there is actually a slot here. If you get yourself a torch and shine it into this slot, you will see that on this side here, there is a little white lever. And all we have to do is move that little white lever over to this side here, and it will manually release the disc tray. So watch this. I've got a little screwdriver here. I'm going to put it in here, and I'm just going to move it over. To this side here like that and now you can see that it allows me to grab the tray remove it to take the disc out as easy as that so to remove a stuck disc from a PlayStation 4 Slim we have to turn it upside down and if you have a look at all these symbols at the bottom here the one that's on the top of the P this one here the circle is actually hollow and that is where it allows us to put the screwdriver through so it's very hard to pick up on camera but there's a little protective sheet in there like a, a plastic and the very first time you do it you do have to pierce through that but apparently this doesn't void your warranty so if you have a look in there now can you see it looks like a kind of a, like a plastic sheet that's been separated into loads of triangles but well, that's where we're going to insert a crosshead screwdriver. So what we're going to do is, let's uh, put it here so you can see the disc coming out. So let's put it into here like so, and we're going to push it until it doesn't go any further. So the first time, you will feel it pop through that little plastic cover, and then we're going to go counterclockwise. Now you have to turn quite a few times, I'd say up on 20 times before the disc starts to come out. And you can see now that the disc is starting to work its way out. And if I was to go clockwise, you will see that the disc is now working its way back in. Yeah. So counterclockwise until you can grab hold of it and then pull it out and take your screwdriver out. And that's how to remove the disc. Okay, so now what happens if your device hasn't got any holes in it and there's no obvious signs of any way to get the disc out. Let's say if there's already a disc in here and then a young child's come along and they've shoved another disc in here. Is there a way to get the discs out when there's no manual release? Well, I've had a look online and a lot of people say that it works by just using double-sided sticky tape on something like a painter's blade. So for example, if you had a flat object, put double-sided sticky tape on it, put it in there. If the disc can stick to it, then there's a chance that you can pull it out. And that's worked for a lot of people. So let's give it a go in this one here. Now, rather than using a knife and putting it in here, I'm gonna try and use this massive spatula thing here so I can have more like surface area to pull the disc out. So I don't know if this is gonna work or not. I'll be fast forwarding through most of it because you don't wanna see me doing this for the next 20 minutes. But let's give it a go. If it works, fantastic. If not, then uh, we know, don't we? Now, obviously, this is not going to work in all the cases because the disc might be kind of held in there with that magnetic thing. But uh, if, if maybe somebody had put two discs in there, then this might hopefully release the second disc. So I'm just going to try it there to begin with on one side. And I suppose if I don't get anywhere, I can always then put it on the other side as well. Right, let's see if it works. I don't know which way I have to put it in. Let's try it this way. Right, now I'm going to go down a little bit. <laughs> well, there you go. That was not edited. That was a first time. So that's, uh, yeah, that works really well. Let's forcefully put that in. In fact, I'll tell you what, let's be a bit adventurous and let's put two discs in. Right, so an Xbox 360 uh, disc as well, and let's forcefully put that in. This is going to make people cringe seeing me do that. Right, so there's two discs in there now, so chances are the system probably wouldn't be able to release, uh, release that. So let's put it in gently. Okay, so now it's harder to get it in because there's two. Oh, here we go. I'll tell you what, that is a good fix. <laughs> Do you know what? It's really therapeutic. I could do that all day long, just taking more and more discs out. Right, okay. So that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe for more how-to videos. Take care. Bye now.